Hi guys, welcome back to our VS Academy. In this video, we are going to discuss about valuation of forwards and futures, which means we are continuing with our earlier video. In the earlier video, we have considered our first scenario, that is when security is providing no income. In this video, this is, will be our illustration two on investment assets, and we are considering the second scenario too. And the scenario is securities providing known income or securities providing certain income in the previous case there was no income related information which means the security was not providing any income during the holding period but in this case where we know for certain that security is providing a fixed income in the form of dividend or interest in that case how to value the forward or futures contract that is what we are going to see to do that we have a formula which goes like this f naught we know what is f naught it is the value of forward which is equal to s naught that is the underlying asset price now current price of the underlying asset minus i i stands for income into e to the power rt this also we are quite familiar with because we are going to use continuously compounding rate of interest for the forward period now what does this i stands for i as i said it denotes income and income we are going to get in future so this is a cash inflow in future therefore we are getting the money in future and hence it has to be expressed in present value terms and thus I stands for D into E to the power minus RT. D stands for dividend here. It could be income into present value of exponential value we have to consider. Now, why this present value here? In first case, F naught, that is value of forward. There we are calculating what is the value which we are going to pay in future. And we are calculating that value in present terms so where we are using annuity value whereas here in the case of dividend dividend we are going to receive in future and we want to find its value today at present therefore we are going to we have to use present value therefore it is e to the power minus rt not plus rt so this is one modification we have to do when we are going for our second scenario securities providing known income let us consider an illustration and our illustration is on the screen. I read through it with that. The common stock of Sun Limited is currently trading at rupees 400. You have 400, a numerical value, first numerical value. The time to maturity of futures, this is futures contract on Sun's share is 50 days. This is contracts maturity period, which is our T 50 days. The risk free rate of return compounded continuously is 9%. On this share, one can expect a dividend of rupees 5 per share 20 days from now. Ascertain the value of this futures contract. So, here it is quite clear that we have an income information because if you see the last sentence, here they mentioned on this share, on this share that is unlimited cash share one can expect we can expect a dividend of rupees 5 per share 20 days from now so which means if you see here they have clearly given dividend they are going to receive whoever is uh, holding sun limited shares so this is a case where we know for certain that this underlying asset is generating an income so this is our second scenario and under second scenario, we have to use this equation to find out the value of futures or forward contract. That is F naught, that is value of futures or forward is equal to S naught minus I into E to the power RT. So we need few informations here. The first information which we need is S naught. So S naught, we know this is underlying asset price. The underlying asset is common stock of Sun Limited and its current price is rupees 400 so rupees 400 is the price so that is s naught then we need r r is quite visible here that is nine percent we have to express in decimal 0 0.09 it will be and then t t here is with respect to the forward contract period and that is if you see here they mentioned time to maturity of the futures 
is 50 days and therefore t is 50 days we have to express in year therefore it is 50 divided by 365 days and then we uh, need one more information which is i now i as discussed earlier i is present value of income or present value of dividend so this is what we are supposed to find out and this equation will help us in finding out the present value of income that is i is equal to d into e to the power minus rt so here d stands for dividend so dividend information we can see here can expect a dividend of rupees 5 so 5 will be the d ka value and then we need r r is same 9% now t here we have another value t here we considering the t relating to dividend they said we can expect a dividend of rupees 20, uh, of rupees 5 per share 20 days from now from today 20 days that will be the t this is in uh, uh, days format then it will be we have to express in year and we know what we are supposed to do so if in case let us assume this 20 days instead of mentioning 20 days if they would have mentioned 60 days then we are not considering this part because the dividend is receivable after the futures contract period and hence it won't be a part of our calculation since this t is 20 days less than 50 days we have to find the present value of dividend so now let us substitute these values therefore i is equal to 5 into e to the power minus 0 0.09 which is r into t t is 20 divided by 365 so when i multiply these power values i get the value like this 5 into e to the power minus 0 0.005 so now minus 0 0.005 i have considered three decimal places reason is if you remember our present value or annuity value calculation uh, when you uh, when you did ca in capital budgeting or basically npv calculation those present values were in three decimal places and hence usually whenever we are speaking about time value of money we have to consider those three decimal places and here we know in our exponential table we do not have such value we have only two decimal place ka value that is 0 0.01 0 0.02 0 0.03 like that it goes now but we need the value 0 0.005 right now how can we find this value we know that 0 0.005 usually lies in between 0 0.00 and 0 0.01 correct it is exactly in between 0 0.00 and 0 0.01 so that is 0 0.005 we know anything to the power anything to the power 0 is 1 so e to the power 0 0.00 nothing but e to the power 0 that is always equal to 1 and e to the power minus 0 0.01 which we need because this is, this is minus here present value we need and this is our present value and 0 .00, 0 0.001 is here and its value is 0 0.99005 i have written that here so this is the value we know 0 0.005 is exactly in between these two value and therefore its exponential value should be exactly in between these two value now how to find out this value this is quite simple you know 1 plus 0 0.9905 divided by 2 will give you the exact point with respect to 0 0.005 and therefore the value is 5 into 0 0.995025 and if we multiply that with dividend we get the present value of income which is 4.98 and now we whatever the information we need to find the value of futures is available here we just need to substitute to get the value of futures contracts let us do that we got all the values which we need which we need for the calculation of uh, value of futures contract our equation was f naught is equal to s naught minus i into e to the power rt we know what is s naught s naught is 400 i is present value of dividend which is 4.98 and e to the power rt also we know we have substituted the value here so now if you multiply this power you get a value like this 400 minus 4.98 that is 395.02 into e to the power 0 0.012 as discussed earlier so we know that uh, our exponential value contains values with 
two decimal places. So we need the third one which is 0.012. Now how to get this value? Same logic what we applied in earlier case to find out 0.005. So we, we need to find those two x, x values in between our uh, expected our uh, required value which is 0.012 lies that we have to find out we know 0.012 lies in between 0.01 and 002 and its exponential value also we know which is 1.01005 and 1.02020 which means as said earlier the exponential value of 0.012 lies in between 0.01 and 0.02 but not exactly at the center as in the case of our previous calculation of present value of dividend then how to find the exponential value of 0.012 for instance let me take two numbers 10 and 20 to get or to reach 20 from 10 we have to pass through 11 12 and all these numbers and for instance if you want to know how to derive these in between numbers you have to add 1 2 3 and so on till 10 and even to get 20 i have to add 10 to 10 so that will give me 20 likewise our 10 to 20 ka series to get 0 0.02 from 0 0.01 we have to pass through these numbers and these in between numbers can be derived by adding these numbers to 0 0.01 which is our starting number Same logic can be applied to find the numbers in between 1.01005 and 1.02020 which is our actual exponential values. To apply the logic of interpolation, first we have to find the absolute difference between our actual value which is 0.01 and 0.02. So which is 0.02 minus 0.01 which is 0.01. Here you have to ignore the sign whether it is positive or negative that doesn't matter. Similarly next what you have to do is you have to find the absolute difference between our exponential values too which is 1.01005 and 1.02020. Ignore the sign the number will be 0.01015. Now I need to look, the, uh, look for the value which I need. So I know I want 0.012. If I add 0.002 to 0.01, I'll be getting 0.012. So that is the number I'm looking for. So that is the number I'm supposed to find out. Now what I'm supposed to do? I will apply the cross multiplication logic. First, I will see for the actual difference in value, which is 0.01. That is what we have found out. And now I will be looking into the difference in exponential value, which is this number 0.01015. Now I need my required number which is 0.002. Now if I apply cross multiplication here, so I'll be getting my actual number. So cross multiplication in the sense you multiply 0.002 to 0.0105 divided by 0.01. So that will give me the difference number which is 0.00203. So I know just like to get 0.012 that is my actual value, I have to add 0.01 to 0.002. Similarly to get the exponential value of 0.012, I have to add this value 1.01005 to my obtained value of 0.00203 so that is related to this and that will give me the exact exponential value of 0.012 which is 1.01208 so this is our cross multiplication technique to derive the interpolated exponential value of 0.012 but you may find this logic to be difficult if you are the one who do not understand this mathematical logic then i have a shortcut equation for you that will help you to find the same interpolated value of 0.012 quite easily and my own shortcut equation is here so which is l plus or minus exponential difference in divided by 10 into digit at third decimal place 
Now, what are these values? L stands for my starting point of exponential value. The starting point of my exponential value is this. So this is the value which I used. So which is 1.01005. Exponential difference is the difference in the two extreme exponential values. So that is this, diff, this number. That is the difference. 10 is because to reach these values from 0.01 to 0.002 there are 10 numbers involved so that is 10 and then that will be multiplied with digit at third decimal place this is the exact number i am looking for the exact number in my case is 0.012 its exponential value i need now i'll be looking into digit at third decimal place this is my decimal point now i i have to look into the third decimal place ka digit which is 2 so if I substitute all these values, I'm going to get my interpolated exponential value and that is 1.01208, which is same as what we calculated here. So even if you apply my shortcut equation, you're going to derive the same exponential interpolated value of 0.012. Now, if we multiply this value, we will get the value of futures contract on equity which we are looking into and therefore the value will be 395.02 into 1.01208 and that will give me the value of forward contract and the value of forward contract is rupees 399.79 so this is how we are supposed to calculate the value of a forward contract or futures contract when we know the income derived from such underlying asset. So this is the calculation and thank you everyone for watching this video.